Tonight we return on the Minecraft Creepypasta world to talk about a story unlike any other involving a game that we all know and love, or once loved. After hearing this story, you may want to think differently about playing Kick the Buddy. Today we will be going over the real story of Kick the Buddy and some of its odd origins that's tied behind the game, and creepy as it is, we have to ask the question, what is it with all these weird entities or these weird characters spiking up in popularity, and all of them have a very odd energy behind them, a very creepy energy, an eerie feeling to better yet describe. That is why today we are going to be talking about Kick the Buddy and the real story behind it. Strap in, grab your popcorn, go grab your a soda, maybe some water, and I will say prepare yourself for a very, very scary video. You have been warned. With that aside, we now will commence. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that like button, enable post notification by ringing the bell and making it go ding. This will notify you of all future videos. We see the water of this magnificent fountain. We continue to build more and more on this world as the time goes on, and I think it's really awesome. In one of the previous videos, oh my god, we have a drowner here. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. Come on, is he going to try to attack me? He's a little mad now. Look at him. He's got some speed on him, too. I have to give him some credibility. Oh, he's even smart. He's got the AI, the artificial intelligence on his side as he goes around the little fence post, but it seems as if he's not enough for my diamond sword as I swing, and I absolutely cause destruction upon his life. Anyway, Anyways, aside from that description, I will go forth into this and continue what I was saying. We made the little fishing hut in one of the previous videos. Uh, I, I often put in play some Minecraft as I talk about some of these creepy creepypastas based around real stories and things that uh, are popular maybe around the community right now and things of sorts. So today we're going to be talking about Kick the Buddy. Now... If you're relatively, uh, even even if you're relatively a stress-free person, you're gonna need to blow off some steam at some point in time. And kick the buddy is the perfect method of that. Is a truly interactive game where you can kick the buddy, make him a target of a missile. Pull Buddy to pieces, play mini games with him, and much, much more while watching him spin, bounce, and explode and de stress your day. Key fe like some of the key features of the game is like fully, uh, like lots of way to punish or kill him. Uh, you can earn money and buy new weapons and items and even mini games. And uh, well, Buddy, just as that drowner over here, has artificial intelligence and will even comment on your actions. That's right, Buddy can speak to you. Which, it's a pretty easy concept of the game that it is, and it offers a lot of replay value, which is also increasing its popularity. See, this is really, really odd. Now, it also has achievements, but it can be scary as well. What is Buddy as a whole? Well, I wanted to pull up a little bit of a wiki here. I want to talk about it. Basically, Buddy is, of course, the main character of the game, and uh, that means the case you hit him with weapons and stuff of sorts. But uh, if we look at Buddy a little bit more in depth as I pull up a little wiki page here. He is the protagonist of the game, of course. He's a ragdoll. That which people are also comparing to, this is where it gets odd and this is where it takes a very, very odd turn, that of a voodoo doll. Now, let me go on my little house here and get a little nice position going on here. <clears throat> I guess we could sit here as we look at the menu today. Looks like we have some chicken, some beef maybe, uh, maybe mutton, um, and some fish. Now, basically, Buddy is a doll, a rag doll to be specific, but if we actually look at his characteristics and what he is kind of representing, it looks more or less like a voodoo doll. What do you do with voodoo dolls? You punch, puncture it with needles, you abuse it to, well, affect the person that the voodoo doll is based off of. Voodoo is a very, very widely practiced uh, religion even, and I would say that this is very odd that Buddy has worked his way into being this ragdoll, quote-unquote, also known as voodoo doll, that people abuse in uh, many different ways. V Buddy moves around and jumps randomly. He will say quotes, as I stated. The main goal is to, well, beat him to death. Depending on what object or weapon you use, Buddy will react, and Buddy often has a mood even. He starts out as happy, but if you hit him, his mood will go down to good and down to sad, where he frowns, and if you keep hitting him, he will even die. Basically, Buddy will also say quotes depending on the weapons that you use. There's also an item called Make the Buddy, which tells you how to make a real Buddy ragdoll. Yeah, it gets weird. If you take a picture, Buddy will do faces, of course. And, uh, well, it, it definitely is odd. Now, upon doing some research, it appeared that there is actually 
diving into voodoo and everything, I was reading up on a story uh, about a kid that had a... He really hated this imaginary friend. So, we all know some people may have imaginary friends you know this invisible friend that they talk to uh maybe isn't too uncommon for kids to have that although it is definitely odd an imaginary friend would be something that you talk to that really isn't even there but may just slightly signify that you're a little bit crazy either way it cannot always be a bad thing except in this case i was reading a story where this child this kid had an imaginary friend called buddy because he called him his buddy. Now, in the midst of this, Buddy made him angry. And he did not like Buddy, but Buddy would not leave. And he could not get Buddy to leave no matter how much he tried. Thus resulting in him creating a real-life doll of Buddy. A voodoo doll of Buddy that he could hopefully, through magical ways of the ways of the voodoo doll finally get buddy to go away this kid would then after making this voodoo doll abuse this doll in multiple different ways to affect his imaginary friend which apparently it allegedly worked this kid uh had a journal that was found that uh represents and says that he would know every time that he could hear Buddy screaming and crying as he would abuse this doll that would represent and affect his imaginary friend Buddy. Buddy would cry often over and over again as he would puncture this doll uh, and torture it in numerous ways. This really was odd to me. When I read something like this, I really didn't know what to make of it. Was this story real, and was this where the kick the buddy actually really derived from? Being a real voodoo doll based on an imaginary friend that this child was abusing in an odd way? It, it just seemed very twisted and weird, and it, it didn't make much sense. Well, the story goes on, even. And later, to come to find out, Buddy... The kid... Okay, so the kid that was writing all this in his journal, uh, and it basically enjoying the fact that he was hurting this imaginary friend of his out of nowhere this child ends up disappearing and still to this day this child has not been found we don't know what's going on with this right uh, allegedly according to like the creepypasta story okay weird very weird so now we have this game called kick the buddy which is based off a of voodoo doll and we have this story that kind of correlates, you know, ties with it. It makes you question a lot of stuff. And it makes it just seem very, very, very weird. So with that, I will say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if this story is real or fake or just a creepypasta of fiction. But I will say this. Be careful next time you play Kick the Buddy and uh, you think of this story. I, I don't know if... This imaginary friend could perhaps come and haunt you. I don't know. All right. But I know one thing. I ain't trying to be haunted by no imaginary friend named Buddy. I, and also, I mean, mind you, this imaginary friend could have been a demon or ghost or something that was haunting this kid. That was almost possessing this kid to an extent. I mean, demonic possession is a real thing, right, guys? I don't know. I, I've not really looked into it, nor would I really want to, to be honest. I'm not trying to get possessed here. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of this very, very odd creepy pasta based around Kick the Buddy. Did this change your perspective on this wonderful game? I know it sure did me when I read it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much. As always, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, Instagram, go do that, guys. I would really, really appreciate it. It would mean the world. To me honestly i cannot tell you guys i'm starting to tweet more and i'm starting to take uh other social medias outside of youtube uh, i'm starting to be more active on there and i think it's great whoops did not mean to put commands there <laughs> anyways i love you guys so much thanks so much for watching be sure to hit that like button if you guys want to see more videos like this and subscribe 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 yes we said it three times i think i don't know anyways see you guys in the next one